Hey everybody, Alex from SeemsGoodMagic.com here, back doing a best of one Brothers War Draft rare Hall of Tags in. We got a little Power Stone Creator. Not a bad card. I don't know if I want to first pick that though. Animus, so it can turn your Power Stone tokens into 4 4 artifact creatures or other artifacts here, non creature artifacts you're playing. Not bad. Not amazing either. No one left behind, so you can. Pay, end up paying two mana to res a creature with three mana or less. Maybe that's good. I haven't really played with it yet, to be honest. Chromatic Star is a good one to animate with Animist, because if it dies, you end up drawing a card. What else is good in here? I like the Chaplain. Get a Flyer plus probably another card. So it's either a 2-2 two -two Flyer. I mean... Two cards in one. I kind of like that. I think I'm going to go with the Chaplain. I don't know if this is right. It just feels like a good value card, because especially since it's evasive. Uh, I do like Gruesome Realization. I haven't played with it yet, but that's a cool combination of abilities. Calamity's Wake. Not really a limited card I want to play. Paratrooper's a good soldier. Emergency Weld's a very good card for the you know, sacrifice deck. Machine over matter is good bounce. Um, unleash shell, some removal, though not amazing, but playable. I could see taking the paratrooper. This card is pretty good. Probably a very good soldier. Is it the strongest card in the deck? I'm not sure. I don't know what the strongest card in this... I mean, it's probably... Or in this pack, rather. It's probably Emergency Weld, because you could just play... I feel like you can just play a boatload of these. But, I'll, you know, I'll take the Paratrooper. I'll give it a chance. I think it's pretty good. I've been impressed with it so far. Ooh, Fauna Shaman. Well, Fauna Shaman's good. Prison Sentence in here. I mean, this is turn the worst creature in your hand into the best creature in your deck. So, I like that. Or whatever creature suits your fancy. This is just good. Fauna Shaman is simply just good. Uh, Deadly Repost is playable. Prison Sentence is good. Quicksilver Amulet is a little clunky. I could see taking the Fauna Shaman. It's hard to go wrong with exchanging one creature for another. I do like that. Power Stone Fracture, certainly some playable removal there. But let's take the Shaman for now. Possibly a sign third pick. I don't know. Um, well, could take another chaplain. They work well together. Defabricate is good in this format. Another no one left behind. Uh, Lauren's Escape is certainly playable. Combat trick or removal protection. I'll take another chaplain. Not a soldier, as it turns out. Repair and recharge. So get an artifact, enchantment, or planeswalker card from your graveyard to the battlefield and get a tapped Parson token. Okay, not amazing. Another chaplain. I mean... Hmm. If they were soldiers, they'd be quite a bit better. I like the Demolisher. I do think this card's good. Especially with the Unearth. Hmm. I think I'm going to go Demolish over the third Chaplain. Just get a nice, powerful Uncommon there. Well, here's a Soldier. Could take that. Audacity. For a beatdown, you know, honestly, with all these cheap dudes, it See Audacity actually being pretty good. Keening Stone. I actually think this is a strong card. It's clunky, but... I feel like if you can hold out long enough, this certainly can win games. I feel like it's a... You know what? I'm going to try it. I just feel like it's really strong. I could be wrong. I feel like it doesn't go great with what we're already doing, admittedly, but... Recommission. I've been getting hurt by this card quite a bit, so I really like this card. 
two mana res for artifacts or creatures with mana value three or less. And on like an airlift chaplain, you would get to do it again. You'd get its effect again, plus get a flyer that's bigger. It's good. So we'll take it. All right. What do we want here? Well, hmm. Third Path Savant is one of those cards that feels like it just wins the game. Shoot down is some green removal. I might just take the Savant. We're playing soldier colors with no soldiers, with one soldier. That should be interesting. Uh, I, I think this is just a really strong card. It's one of those cards where unanswered it just does a lot. All right, retrieval unit seems good now. Or I could take the hall, the clunky hall of Tagson. Hmm. I mean, it doesn't take up a slot in the deck, so maybe I could give it a try. For multiple color, I'm not gonna like it. I'll I'll give it a try. Giving up the stone retrieval unit is not the end of the world. I don't think it's very good though. Machine over matter, on the other hand, is pretty good. There's a green soldier. We're not We're definitely not just a soldier deck, so I don't know if that matters. Could just take machine over matter. Mine worker. Some life gain. Only shells probably the best card in this pack, but um, I'll take the machine over matter. It's cheaper. Well, Spectrum Sentinel's not very good. Archaeologist. We already have two self-mill cards. I don't know if that matters, though. Could take the rebuff. I do like it. Could take the tower worker for ramp. I'll take a rebuff. I kind of like the counter. All right, another counter. I'll take defabricate. This one's good. Guess I'll take a Juggernaut. This card's good. So we have like, I guess, red on Earth spells. All right, another machine over matter. I'll take. All right. Agent kind of wants to be in the same plan. Buy time for Keening Stone. Mindbreaker seven mana six four when it attacks. Wow. Well, that's all right. We've got the the mill plan, I guess. <laughs> Try that. Burnish Heart is good. Subjugation certainly playable. Another Demolisher in here. Prison Sentence. Good cards in here. But we'll take the Mindbreaker. I think it makes sense for what we're doing. I mean, this plus Keening Stone just wins, so that's cool. Hmm. A little tricky here, huh? One with the Multiverse. Eight mana. Look at the top card of your library anytime. Play lands, cast spells from the top of your library. One string each of your turns, you may cast a spell from your hand on it. Or the top of your library. This card's sweet. With power stones? I really like this. Oh, wow. Mind's Eye is. <laughs> Jeez. This is really good, too. Jeez, which one's better? I mean, this just lets you... This really goes off, but it's eight mana. This is cheaper, and at least gives you an extra card each of your opponent's turn. At least one extra card. Wow. Sheesh. It's definitely one of those two. I don't know. I, I feel like I want to try out this mythic, though. They're both mythics, which is crazy. They're both really good. This is sweet, though. I really like this. One of the multiverse. Play off the top is pretty crazy. All right. Disenchant is definitely a strong card in this format in particular. I don't know if we're splashing Fauna Shaman. Um, so I could take Burnished Heart. But I'm feeling disenchant. Are we even for sure white? I guess not. We have four white cards currently. None of them are anything to write home about. Otherwise, I could take the rock, which I do like. Or I could take subjugation, which is cheaper. We probably need some early protection. And I guess if we're not white, possibly still green. Obstinate Bailoth is good. Buys time well, too. Could see the argument for Bailoth and maybe ditch out. I mean, this card is really good. Maybe ditch out on white. 
go more of like a what's maybe green green blue stall could possibly see that being a thing it's also a four mana four four i mean you get a lot out of that urza's command well i'm glad blue's open sheesh creatures you don't control get minus two minus oh until in turn create a power stone create a colorless construct artifact creature struggling with this creature gets plus one plus one for each artifact you control scry one draw well i mean with that many effects how can you not Doctor Architect is good. Uh, the Rock for blue. I feel like we go for the blue-green. Just have two good green cards currently, but I love a Haywire Might. That card's good, but there's no way I can pass this Zephyr Sentinel. I love this card. Oh, yeah, I lost to this the other draft. That's really good, too. I mean, the Might is good, but I'd rather have... Zephyr Sentinel. Let's just ditch. Let's let's just go out on a limb and say white's not going to work out. And we're green, blue, and probably happy enough with that. All right. Loot plus possibly make Power Stone tokens. That's good. I like the combat career. Another chance to get Scatter Ray, but this is Urza's good. Looting is good. All right, another cooldown. It is an uncommon. A kind of glass is a sweet card. Another savant. Adept. I actually don't have that much card draw. Well, works well with these two. Hmm. Could see taking the cooldown. You put the two stun counters on them as... Good time buying. Or there's the dragon engine, but I don't think we can super easily make that work. So we could take the tower worker. We do need quite a bit of ramp in here. Air Marshal, cheaper. But we really don't have any ramp yet. And I feel like with the amount of five, six, seven, eight drops we have, probably gonna need tower worker. Cavalry's good. Or I just take Air Marshal, but we don't have that many soldiers. And third Machine Over Matter we probably don't need. Subjugation, or we can take Evolving Wilds, or we can take the Mine Worker since we have the Tower Worker now. Subjugation is just better. I mean, I don't need to assemble the Assembly Worker plan to have a good deck, I don't think. So... Another subjugation. Oh, Got to be careful with this because <laughs> it's not like the best removal, but it's playable removal in a pinch. I don't know if I need three. Could take the burner's heart. I really do like the rock, but it's five mana. Burner's heart, I guess, would let us maybe unearth a juggernaut, but I don't know if that's going to happen. Three subjugation seems excessive. I'll take the burner's heart. All right. Colossus is. Fine finisher. This is a two mana three three with surveil. Maybe I take that because we have a lot of expensive stuff already. I could see bulwark being playable in here. Because we're trying to win off milling at this point, I guess. Alright, scatter ray maybe. Because I feel like we have enough expensive stuff already. Another scatter ray, sure. Scatter ray's fine. Adept, we do have some card draw, it could work here. Portal of Phyrexia, 9 mana. When it enters, each opponent sacks 3 creatures. At the beginning of your upkeep, put a creature card from a graveyard onto the battlefield under your control. Wow. Well, 9 mana, but I guess we'll try and figure out a way to make it work with no ramp whatsoever. We have... What do we have for ramp? A Burnish Heart, a Tower Worker? Jeez, we could use some more. Nine mana. It's expensive. No doubt, but it's a cool effect. Staff of Domination. This is a cool uh this is a cool mythic. Can gain life. It, it takes a lot of mana, but you can use it more than once a turn. But another mind breaker? Uh <laughs> I kinda wanna take another mind breaker. I don't know why. I guess just because I'm holding out hope I can somehow put this uh, mill plan together. Buy time and mill. I think all the coastal bulwarks are probably good for us now. 
Spells you cast that share a card type with the exile card cost two less to cast. So, but you have to exile a card. I mean, to be honest, we probably need it, but <laughs> uh, it could take the retrieval unit now. We we need the ramp pretty badly. Let's see. So we could take honor guard, get another two drop. Retrieval agent blocks reasonably well. Honor Guard attacks and blocks reasonably well. And it's a soldier, I guess, for Zephyr Sentinel, too. Splash for Excavation Explosion. I guess I'll take it because it's cheap. Just make sure we have enough cheap things here. Another Defabricate. Here, I'm going to take the Stalwart. We really need the ramp. And Stalwart is, does just that. Probably off the Demolisher, I imagine. Because we've got enough expensive stuff as it is. Might not be doing the Juggernaut either. Uh, Millstone. Just all the all the, uh, all the mill. Could take the animation here. Does it actually work with that many things? Probably not. A few things, but... Power Plant Worker. Um... I really don't need Millstone, I don't think, but yeah, it's probably too slow. I'll take another Honor Guard. I'm just going to make sure we have enough early plays here. All right, I love the rock, and I've seen enough of them where I want to take it now, even though it's another five drop, I guess. Probably do that over the Juggernaut. Another subjugation, or at this point, maybe we just jam some bulwarks. Because these are two mana 3-3s three in our deck, which is pretty good. Or we could take the... Actually, Golem is good. It's just we've got so many expensive things in here already. I'm going to take the bulwark. I feel like we have enough in-game. Our plan is already here. Stern Lesson. There we go. There's a good one. More Power Stone tokens. Card draw never hurt nobody. So we can do bounce. Again, probably three bounces. Not going to make the deck. Archaeologist, certainly not bad. We have enough. We have a lot of self mill already. Or we could do Gaia's Gift, but we don't really need that. Don't need the Colossus. I guess I'll take this. I don't know if it's going to make the deck. So we got agent back. We do have card draw. This thing can continuously get bigger. It's probably just better than an agent then. Neither one probably makes the deck, to be perfectly honest. Well, that's cool. Rager is not bad. Is Rager playable if you can't unearth it? I guess we can unearth it in here, can't we? Because we have Stalwart and stuff. All right. So we got some ramp, which is good. Got a mill plan. Uh, I mean, we have powerful in game. We just, you know, need to survive until we can get there, which isn't always easy. So let's figure out some cuts here. We have 20 creatures. So we can at least cut five creatures, right? I think we'll get off like Adepts and Retrieval Agent just to cut down on. Because we've already got enough expensive stuff in here. We need to stay relatively busy early. Um, do I still want the tower worker? Is it just a ramper? Not 100% on that. Hmm. I like the bulwarks rather more than the honor guards. But honor guards can attack. Maybe we'll get off the... Well, archaeologists can block... Hmm. Defabricate versus Scatter Ray. Honestly, I don't know if we have space for either one. As much as I want to play them. I think they're very good. It's just... I don't know how we... We have to make cuts. And I want to play all my expensive stuff we already have. Probably cut one more Machine Over Matter. Maybe cut the honor guards. 
could cut the tower worker. It does ramp though, and ramp is just too terribly important for us, I guess, with all these seven and eight and ridiculous drops. So maybe the honor guards go. And then we have to make more cuts. So I want to keep the subjugations. I want to keep the machine over matters. Probably cut the rebuff. Keep the card draw ramp. Maybe cut the cooldown, but I do like what it does. Urza's command. And here it's not... Well, it ramps too. Yeah, that's true, actually. That's nice. All right, let's cut the cooldown. And then one more cut. Possibly could be a creature. Not thrilled about the idea of that, but maybe cut a machine over matter and just run one. Keeps our removal. Our removal is light if we do that, which is suboptimal, but we do have two subjugations, I guess. All right, let's, let's maybe cut that. Well, this looks like, I mean, it looks like a fun deck. We have card draw, we have ramp. We don't have much removal. Some blockers. Some fun looking finishing stuff. Try and Keening Stone. Portal to Phyrexia should be a tough one to get to <laughs> tough one to get to, but uh so we're low on green. We just have three green spells. But I guess Hall of Taxon can do something too in here, maybe. We do have double blue. They want to do 10-6, even though we have double green. And our other ramp thing is green. I wonder if I want to do 9-7 instead. Because we have Burnished Heart, which I guess can fix. And we only have two double blue spells. Might have to do 9-7. Just so we can reliably cast uh, Sentinel St Stalwart on turn one and start getting a ramp plan going. All right, well, it's, it's a weird little build, but we'll see what we can do with it. We'll run it like this. We'll see you around one. All right. Good. Good hand. Got the combo. Keening Stone Mindbreaker. Got a Bulwark. So we've got a 3 3 Defender Surveil one. Not bad. Bulwark Mold is a 5. That helps. The mill plan. All right. So currently we get. Turn three, surveil, and turn four, Urza's command. Ooh, never mind. Change of plans. What's kind of cool is Fauna Shaman discarding Mindbreaker to find another Mindbreaker. It's actually kind of slick, but. Mm. All right. Well, that's cool. We can do Urza's command. Pass for now. Hmm. All right, let's do command, get a power stone token plus a scry one draw card. Because we only have one artifact card. No, we have two artifacts. So we get a 2 2. 2 2 or a scry one draw. Two might be more valuable. And it gets bigger. Uh alright. Change of plans. Oh, it's a three three. Well, I'm glad I did that. Let's uh let's get Keening Stone down here. Wow, this is actually a pretty gnarly setup. Because I can Fauna Shaman. I'm like close to lethal here, believe it or not. Oh. Spoke too soon. Uh, Alright, we'll get uh, Mindbreaker down here. Hmm. Four, six, seven. We're 
We're close. <laughs> oh boy. Let's see, do I want to take five or double block? I have one card left. I think I might double block here. Oh, actually, I think both my guys die because of that. Uh, do I want to keep the rock? So rock doesn't immediately let me cast portal to I think I'll still keep it, though. But I think I'm going to lose. <laughs> if he'd done it the other way, I would have lost both my guys. I, I kind of lucked out there, actually. Oh, wow. That's a cool one. Need a hall of tags in. Hmm. All right. Well, we'll do the portal. Not in love with this play, but oh, they're tapped out. Never mind. I'm absolutely in love with this play. <laughs> wow. We pretty much lucked out that they tapped out there. All right, we'll see you for the next one. Okay, let's try this again. It's definitely a keep. Good hand. We get to go probably... Well... Do I do Fauna Shaman first or the Archaeologist? I guess it depends on what they play. Hmm. It's a cool one. Alright, let's do uh let's do the shaman first, I think. So I can actually discard Tower Worker to get a power stone token. Or would I rather have the 1-3? I don't know. Guess keeping the one three lets me get some discard fodder for fauna shaman, so that's kind of nice. So I guess we do tower worker. Ra I mean, tower worker versus stern lesson. They both ramp. I guess getting the extra body out might be good. Because now we're at five mana. So we can do Archaeologist plus Stern Lesson. Unless they blow up our Tower Worker. Alright. So we're back to four mana. Which means we probably just jam Urza here. Or we can do the Stern Lesson. But then they can attack us, I guess. I'll do Urza. For looting. The Stern Lesson ramp doesn't currently do anything too insanely good. I can ditch Archaeologist to Shaman for whatever creature I desire, I guess. I don't know if I prefer that. I 
I mean, I can take a look at what creature, because I can do it. It doesn't really cost me anything right now. I can get Zephyr Sentinel, Coilos Rock. Coilos Rock would be a decent one. Feels like it'd be better than an archaeologist. I don't get the surprise factor anymore, I guess, but that's all right. It's also burnished heart, but let's do the rock. Flying body that ramps is pretty good. Hmm. Might just take three from the prospector. Oh, no. Oh, it's not a soldier. That's interesting. Well, I don't know what the trick is, but I guess I'd rather lose Urza, so I'm going to block with that if they have the trick. Because looting's good, but I probably don't need it. So they blow up my Power Stone token, or, or just put it back in their hand? Is that how it works? So wait. All right. So I'll do third path savant plus stern lesson. Because if I play Mindbreaker, they just blow that up. So I don't want that. I'd rather stay back and block. I mean, I just need a green mana and I can play the Bayloth, so I can afford to probably afford to take the damage here. Could possibly trade for um there. well they're pretty much tapped out that's good i mean i could trade off here let me see what i draw did not draw the green mana i'm getting the power stone token so i probably don't need this island because i need a forest no soldiers, right? No. Well, I think I'm just going to take three. Well, Mindbreaker's cool. We can start jamming those, I guess. So they'll go down to 36. So if I attack with Mindbreaker, they mill 18. If I do this, basically I mill them for 18 and then nine. So I mill them for like 27. I still am probably gonna need the Keening Stone to finish the job here. If I discard this mind breaker, what do I get? Uh, to be honest, I don't really have anything too good to find, so I probably just want to cast it. Uh, let's see. 
think we'll block like probably block like this, I guess. Uh, yeah, that's that's probably fine. Oh, there's the Keening Stone. They've blown up the world or what? Oh, I see. Well, I still have the combo pieces here, so... We're doing all right. They do the Mind Breaker from the yard. Set up with the Keening Stone. They have one card left. So, that's cool. I mean, they're really close to dead, actually, here. I can get in for nine, play the Bayloth, and they're in a pretty tough spot. And Zephyr Sentinel Bayloth are good combo too. They're taking it, huh? All right. So they have to kill the rock now. We don't need Fauna Shaman anymore, so I can trade it off. So we have eight mana. So I have enough to do stone plus sentinel. That's pretty good. By Keening Stone. Oh, wrong choice. This had vigilance too. Nice. All right, got there. See you for the next one. All right, we gotta keep here. A little bit on the slow side, but that's all right. Urza into Obstinate Bayloth. What? Oh, please choose Obstinate Bayloth. <laughs> all right. I guess it would get exiled, so... Um, yeah, they actually could... They could have chosen uh, Obstinate Bailout there. Hmm. <laughs> it's a strong two-drop.
Hmm. I don't know why you'd exile your own graveyard, but actually effective against us. Hilariously enough. Alright, so we'll do Stern Lesson into Bayloth. Oh, you do have to, you have to exile. I see. Well, that makes more sense. So get rid of the land they know about. And we'll play a Bayloth, get a 4-4 and gain some life. away from that. So we can do this in the coastal bulwark, I guess. Still one shy of being able to make a power stone this turn. Next turn, the mine breaker. Uh-oh. Hmm. Well, we have the combo. I don't know if we can live long enough to do the combo here, though. Possible. See you for the next one. All right, we can keep this. Savant into unit into Keening Stone. Ooh, Burner Start. Well, might do that instead. We'll see. Yeah, now I probably do this Savant instead. Um, because then I can keep the Sprite back. Still ramp next turn with the stone retrieval unit. Sure. So we'll go stone retrieval unit. And then if we get a land, we can go burnished heart and sack it. So we're close to that. Otherwise, I might have to do the stern lesson instead, but that's all right. Not a big deal. Hmm, it's a little trickier. Well, I guess we do Bulwark plus Burnished Heart. That's not bad. Or I can do the Stern Lesson. No, let's do the Burnished Heart. So we have a double block for the Bayloth. That's good. Sure. 
sure. All right. So now we have we have six mana. Yeah, that's enough. So now we stay back, and we can stern lesson plus. Yeah, that's good. So we'll be at we'll be at nine, which is good. Oh, good. So, let's just stern lesson first. And then we'll burnish heart. Oh, well. There it is. Well, geez. Well, I guess we discard the Sentinel. Geez, that's a tough one. Didn't especially want to do that, but. Gotta do what you gotta do, I guess. Alright. So now we'll do this. We'll sack all their dudes. And then we'll attack for two. All right, see you for the next one. A little bit on the slow side, but we'll keep it. Good draw there. Kind of needed that little protection. This is a, it's like optimal coastal bulwark deck. Bottom shaman's good too. So Subjugation and Portal of Phyrexia are a bit of a non-bow, but not like the worst non-bow ever. Kind of want to keep this boar around, to be honest. Uh, I'm going to... Oh, it's got Vigilance? Jeez. Yeah, that sucks. I think... Dang. Because subjugation is going to be a lot worse with this thing having vigilance. I think I'm going to take three this turn. They do have to play an artifact every turn in order to do the the business. So that's probably okay. I was keeping Bulwark around as a hedge against... Uh, um, Screw, mana screw, but we'll see. If I draw another land, maybe I won't need it. Because now at least I've got Urge's Command for a Power Stone token plus Rock for a token. Urge's Command is just great. Instant speed artifact creature that comes in as a 3-3 because you get Power Stone plus itself plus the Bulwark. It's pretty nice. Soldier deck is good. They taking Corliss back, or they rather have a two-two. Looks like they'd rather have a two-two. All right. So we can do Urza's command, and we'll do Power Stone plus a three-three here. I can subjugation the chaplain. So I can give vigilance, does it? Good. Good.
Hmm. It's not the one I was expecting. Um... I feel like I might just block with the construct. Even though it gets bigger eventually, I might still prefer to have the bulwark for the surveil. Although, the construct can actually attack, whereas bulwark cannot. Oh, it enters tapped. Well, never mind. That decides that. Guess it, that makes sense. Doesn't want you to be able to surprise block. Five will be at seven. Hmm. Well, having burner chart here is pretty nice because that's going to be able to get us to uh, closer to Portal of Phyrexia range. A soldier? Warlock. All right. So we'll get a couple islands off the burner start. Hmm. Really want to land here. Just funny when you. <laughs> well, we got it. All right. See you for the next one. All right, well, keeping it. Might ditch this Mindbreaker with Fauna Shaman for like a Sentinel Stalwart if we need extra lands, something like that. Just spitballing, figuring the hand out here. Yeah. All right, well, we got the land. I may still just... Oh, I guess I wouldn't be able to... Huh. Grow multicolor now. I, I mean, I can ditch the Mindbreaker anyway and get something else. Like a... Coastal bul Bulwark. Zephyr Sentinel seems like the best one, though. Can get the Sentinel Stalwart, like I said, but then I can't play it. We still need another land. That's the problem. So... Do I actually just play, like, a... Do I get a Tower Worker? As sad as that is? Or do I do the Stalwart? Huh. Tower Worker takes more mana. I mean, Burnished Heart is too much of a setup now if I'm not playing lands. Let's do the... Oh, jeez. This is awkward. I'll do the Tower Worker. I'm not... Not loving it. Not loving it. We actually have a non-basic... Uh, land so you have to 
Watch out for that. You're in trouble for that. Perimeter patrol. Alright, well, I'll have to subjugation that at some point. Kind of wanted to land there, but that's alright. They're up to four now. So we at least have Urza's command online. That's good. So we can do the power stone. That, that works. That should work. That's a lot of damage. All right. Miss the land. That's all right. So we can do retrieval unit or we can do Urza's command. Uh, what do we want to do? Hmm. Probably have to do the Urza's command. Get some bodies off the board here. So we'll probably do minus two, minus zero. Jeez. The perimeter troll's big. Can also just lose the Fauna Shaman, trade it with the cohort. I might have to do that. In which case, maybe I just, yeah, maybe I just trade. Yeah, I think we do that. And then I get, I mean, I can wait and just take the five. I can't block with the thing anyway, so it doesn't really matter. All right, so we'll make this plus Power Sun token. I have Zephyr Sentinel, so we're at four mana. So we can do Subjugation on Patrol, and then we have three mana, so we can do Zephyr Sentinel, maybe. Um, Best use of mana is presumably Urza, though. Do I have to use the Tower Worker for that? Uh, I might just have to... Oh, I can do... Actually, yeah, this is the best use. This is the best one. So, so we have six mana. Don't can't actually do the I can't do the rock, even with the tower worker. Uh, probably just do this tower. It's a soldier too. That's nice actually. Let's do stalwart. Beave up Zephyr Sentinel. They don't have any reach, right? Oh, all right. Ooh, Baloth. Well, would have been nice. I guess I can still do Urza, though, too, huh? Then I can't leave up machine over matter. Maybe I just, you well, know, getting hers is down is nice. All right. All right, that's fine. So, so we'll block that. 
take four. Sure. All right, so we can play the Bayloth here. Then I can't machine over matter, so probably do this so I can bail off and then leave up machine over matter. Oh, I could have left it up with stalwart. Uh, whoops. I didn't think about that. Oh, I can also bounce uh, Static Net and get my Zephyr Sentinel back. That's kind of cool. So we can loot too. Oh. Well, maybe we discard the Machine Over Matter because then we're at 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. With the Rock, we're pretty close. Although, what they sack's not gonna. I mean, the ability alone is it so good; it doesn't even matter. So we'll just hang out. Wait, do we have nine? Five, six, seven, eight. Oh, I had nine. Whoops. <laughs> what would they have sacked? I guess token, the patrol, and yeah, it might have actually been better for them. I'm not sure, but now they, I guess, can get the. Burnish tart off to So I mean I have Urza to loot. Guess we just make them sack here. If I'm not gonna loot anyway and keep the tower worker up to block, so let's just do this. So they'll sack token and patrol and spectrum sentinel. I think we still get access to some good creatures though. I can get fauna I can get my mind breaker back, yeah. I mean, it kind of helps them, but at the same time, we get creatures back, so it's pretty good. Do the battlefield, too. So how do we want to block? I guess the best block for that is, let's see. Could be worker, prodigy, rock probably. So they drew disenchant, which is unfortunate. All right, so play a mind breaker. I mean, Keating Stone will get there now, which is good.
Um, so they do have the mana to sack Burnished Heart, so may have to block with the Stalwart too. Um, so we'll block like that. I'll keep Urza around. Bulwark is certainly good enough to keep. So we can smash with a Mindbreaker. They can gain a bunch of life, I guess. Six, we're at nine, we're at 10 mana though. We need 11 to do Keening Stone in one turn. Let's just do Bulwark. I mean, we can do Bulwark. And we can do Mindbreaker and attack. And just get the mill. So if we draw Keening Stone, they just die. I think that's probably worth it. And granted, they gain more life or whatever, but this is all right. We'll chump there. All right, so now we're going to loot plus surveil. But the problem is, like I said, we can't even, hmm, yeah, it is a problem. All right. Nothing to be done. Have we played command yet this game already? Oh, I guess we did. So probably have to block first. Block their biggest dudes. And we'll... Oh, I should have surveilled first. Whoops. My bad. I was supposed to surveil first. Although, we probably actually get rid of this for the Power Stone. In case we were to get Keening Stone. But, um, I did not do that in the right order. Oh, we had the Keening Stone on top? <laughs> oh, man. We would have won on our turn. Alright, we'll see you for the next one. What? One with the multiverse? Forgot that card was in our deck. This hand's clunky, but we'll keep it. Just playing casual eight drops. So that's, that's how we roll, I guess. Surprised they didn't attack there. I like that. All right. Hmm. So we'll power stone plus golem. Five, six, seven. So next turn we can do one with the multiverse. That's good.
I mean, we can bounce something. Oh yeah, I can't guess. That's right. Well, we can do this one, I guess. The power stones can't help with one with the multiverse. That's uh, an important distinction. Sure. I mean, the nice thing is it doesn't kill my Mindbreaker, so... My dude is still a 4-4. That's good. All right. Well, let's portal it up. Everything but the battery bear probably makes the most sense. Can actually bounce my own mind breaker too. That's kind of cool. I suppose we can get him for five. What creature are we taking here, huh? Guess we're taking uh, third path savant first. Oh, two can play at this Keening Stone game, huh? Well, the funny thing is I can actually take it from my yard if I had a creature. So, with Keening Stone at some point, I can do that. Uh, let's see, so... I guess we just jam this, see if there's a land on top. Oh, you can play the first one for free, too? Jeez. I don't want to mill three, though. <laughs> oh, I can play this for free, too, though. All right, well, that's cool. You can discard the archaeologist. Play a land. Okay, another six. Well, that's cool. I guess I'll take that. That's fine. So we can, we got five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. So we can do Zephyr Sentinel plus replay the Mindbreaker and then kill them with Keening Stone next turn. I kind of like that. Oh, wait. Mm, maybe that wasn't the way to do it. Um, oh, now I'm going to lose that card, huh? Well, that's all right. We're not dead yet, right? What do we got? Six. So that's not enough. Wait. 
You can just keep doing it? Wow. I just didn't want him to be able to use Keening Stone, but I don't think they can live anyway, so. Alter of Dementia at Keening Stone is pretty sweet, though. It's pretty cool. I think they're dead though, so it worked out. So, play this for free. So block, block, and they take one, three, five, seven, nine. So Xaxi's lethal here. Altar of Dementia is sweet. This card's really good. Just a free ability too. It's cool. It's funny that we both had the Keening Stone. I haven't killed one person with Keening Stone yet. All right. Let's see you in the next one. There's a keep. Looks good. Zephyr Sentinel into Urza into Baloth, perhaps maybe. You can have the double green for Baloth too, which is nice. So Zephyr Sentinel into Burnished Heart now, most likely. I haven't seen the Blast Runner played yet. Mm, Stone Seeker's fantastic. Such a powerful card. All right, so we'll do Zephyr Sentinel. I wonder if I just trade with the Blast Runner. I don't want to, but... Here we are. Just trying to preserve my life total at the moment.
Uh, Urza's command's good. So, I'd rather do Urza. Can't block the Menace, dude. If I do Urza, they can sack the Power Stone. Kill it, too. That's not great. So, maybe the Burnished Heart's better for now. So, we can drop the Bailoth this turn, or I can do Urza's Command. Let's do Bailoth now. Another option would have been to sack the Burnished Heart, but I just want to get the 4-4 down this turn. No attacks. Well, I like that. So now we can stone retrieval unit and leave up machine over matter. Or we can urge this command. Let's do, let's do this first, I think. Yeah, I like this because this sets up Burnished Heart plus Urza and some other things. It gets another body on the board. I think I like this more. Let's hang out. Play it cool. Ah, got some blue in there. It's good to know. So I don't know if I need to get the Power Stone token now with command. It might be better just make the construct and scry draw. Can't decide. But I will be able to at least do Urza plus Sack Burnished Heart plus Machine Over Matter, so that's not bad. Alright. So, yeah, we can do something different with Command now. So let's do Land Urza Pass. And we don't have command up, but we do have machine over matter plus burnished heart, so that's good. They gotta be doing like a go wide plan. I almost want to hold this up for the minus two, minus zero if they're doing a go wide plan. I'm 
I'm actually going to try and get that off the board here. Actually, bounce that too. Keep my Bayloth. Kind of want that to die rather than bounce it, though. Hmm. All right. Oh, well, now I definitely have some incentive to uh, sack that burner start. My, my goodness. All right. That's cool. You get to draw off that too. Card sweet. So I'm gonna sack this. Command. I still feel like that's kind of important for the minus two, minus zero. But they're going to start drawing every turn. So I can get this for free. Possibly get a land off the top still. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, well, let's try and stay alive for now. Because if they have go wide now, we're in pretty big trouble, but... So we have enough to cast Portal 2 Phyrexia, that's cool. They just get to sack three one ones, but then we start getting creatures back. Like Obstinate Bayloth, which is a pretty good one to get back. Oh good. Well, it means they're probably not attacking this turn. Probably. 
You get to play Portal to Phyrexia for free. Which is pretty fun, playing a 9-drop for 0 mana. Although if they bounce one with the... I guess even if they bounce one, the, one with the multiverse, we still get to do it. And we just got a stall. Getting a lot of lands. Up. Let's do free portal. So they'll sack three soldiers. And then we can play this. Two, three, four, five. I guess we maybe want to do it like four, five, six, two, three, six, seven. All right, and then we can do Mindbreaker. Oh, and then we have Subjugation, that's nice. So we'll do that on him. And we won't pay that. And then we'll play a stalwart. And we'll leave up machine over matter. see so I can machine over matter bounce and not take the two but I think I'll just allow it so I think we'll get back uh, Bayloth and gain some life Can let's pay for the stern lesson because I get one free card per turn here. Um, I guess we can ditch probably tower worker. I guess. Oh, that's nice. Is this only once per turn? Okay, we can play Mindbreaker for free. I mean, I can do the bird too. Can I play them? Wow, I can cast the rock instant speed. That's cool. Uh, let's do Mindbreaker for free. And then I'm going to leave up Urza's command, Machine Over Matter, and the rock here.
Got nine cards left. Sure. It's funny, they have less cards in their deck than me. So, I mean, Strong Bull's pretty sweet, too. But at this point, I think we just keep getting Mind Breakers back. Probably. And, oh, there's Keening Stone. So we need to mill one more card. Is that right? Dang. <laughs> I don't happen to have a way to make them draw, do I? Doesn't look like it. Well... Let's just play the stone, I think, for free. Then we can do Bulwark. And... Tap that and play Fauna Shaman. Pass. So, yeah, we can mill them for eight. They still get a draw step, so I think we'll wait. Oh, well, now they just die, so it's fine. Wait, why did you not let me do the thing? Excuse me? Why didn't I get a chance to do that? A little bit confused. Should have been able to do that. It's because I guess I didn't have a stop, even though feel like I did.
Oh, they, they had three of those like kind of class. Wow, it's pretty slick. See you for the next one. All right, this is a keep. Good hand. Bulwark and a tower worker. Them gaining life doesn't matter too much to us, I don't think. All right. Get the extra mana for now. Hmm. Ah, nice. So with Stern Lesson, we should be able to do Mindbreaker next turn. And I'm willing to trade a Bulwark for a Recluse. I think that's actually a pretty good trade. If they want to do it, up to them. Ah. I suppose we maybe just ditch the mind breaker. Could ditch one of these. But they have the aeronauts wing, so I have to be a little cautious, I guess. I, can, I mean, mind breaker comes back, and I have another one. I'm, I guess I'm fine with ditching that. This deck has all sorts of exciting things. Hey, our own burner start. That's a good one. So let's do that. We can leave up all sorts of stuff. Urza's command. I mean, we're going to have nine mana next turn, right? Five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. We've got Portal of Phyrexia next turn. Plus, we have Urza's Command up now, which is nice. Doesn't counter spells, but whatever. I guess, or maybe two blue. So got a grip full of blue in hand. Portal. They sack their team. Recluse goes to the yard and tucks something away. I mean, I could have done Mindbreaker first, but... No, actually... I don't think I'm really gonna... Oh, sorry. That doesn't work. So I didn't realize how Sack works. Alright, so we'll get back. Uh, geez, Burnish Shard's a pretty sweet one to keep getting back. Simulacrum's a fun one. 
Yeah, and then they can't unearth it. I kind of like that. Let's take that. So we'll go land. So I'm just going to be patient here. Happy now the subjugation looks better. But uh, putting it on the bulwark was not a good idea. Oh, and if I do. Yeah, I was gonna say leave something back, but it's probably not right actually. Get rid of that. Just to get the life gain, dude. And surveil. This thing. Oh, that's cool. Did I lose my dude in my yard? Oh yeah, they must have tucked it. Well, that's cool. Um. This might be a little risky. Not keeping a reach dude back in case they can untap their dude and pump it, but Let's see. Lethal yet? Alright. Well, that turned out to be pretty sweet. One with the multiverse is phenomenal. Portal type Phyrexia won almost every game. So this deck, uh, was something. A bunch of mythics and fun stuff. Really happy I took one with the multiverse over the five drop draw card thing just because one with the multiverse is ridiculously good. Just playing cards for free each turn, doing stuff off the top of the deck. You go through your deck pretty, pretty uh, quick, rather. I'd take Gwenna here. It's a great card. Really nice ramp. Nothing else really even close, so that's fine. Over the top. Mm, a little too wild for me, but I've been wanting to play Stone Seeker forever. This card is so good. Two drop, two two menace with upside. What? That feels like it could be constructed playable, but maybe I'm. Never mind. I take it back. I don't understand constructed, so I don't know what the environment's like anymore. This card's great, but probably go board wipe. Yeah. Tough to go around with a board wipe. Especially one that you can semi, you know, design around. 
Probably pretty good against a soldier deck. I've seen this crown before. This card's good. Equips for one black. The upside's good. I like the crown. Would I take it here? Yeah, I probably would. Well, Mox Amber, on the other hand, not so good. Unless you just have a boatload of legends, I guess. Doctor Mechanic is good. Yeah, I like that. Legion to Ashes. Oh, that's cool. I mean, it's multicolor removal, but it is pretty good. Just blow up all Power Stone tokens isn't that impressive, but it deals with any non-land permanent and exiles. It is three mana. It's Vindicate mana, but it exiles. I guess you can't blow up lands like Vindicate, but still, this this card's good. I could see taking it here. Yeah, it's multicolor, like I said, but probably worth it. It's a strong removal. Cityscape Leveler. 8 mana, 8-8 eight, eight, Trample. Whenever you cast a spell, whenever it attacks, it's ripped to one token, not only permanent. But they get a tap power stone token. Wow, this card's sweet. And it's got Unearth. Yeah. Take it. Be happy with it. Glad I haven't had to play against that one. That's really strong. Wow. And here, uh, Seed Veteran. Easy one. Great card. All right. Thanks for tuning in, folks. Hope you enjoyed it. See you for the next one.